Hey guys, Machines and Metal here. I'm just in the middle of a bit of a personal project here in the shop. Took a break from lawnmowers for a while and we are doing the bottom end of my uh, 12 valve diesel, my 96 Ram. And I've had this engine apart once before last year. I did some upgrades to it, uh, replaced that turbo, uh, put a cam in it, new uh, valve springs, push rods, uh, ARP studs, things like, you know, the normal stuff, KDP pin, um, what have you. But anyway, this year I decided I wanted to pull the engine right out and have the bottom end redone. So new bearings, new seals, new pistons, new rings. Uh, we're going to bore it, we're going to hone it, and we're also going to try gapless piston rings, which is something new to me. They've been out there for a while. Anyway, the point of this video, really quickly, I just wanted to show you a little thing about this, this uh, the way that this engine is installed in this truck. If uh, you go to pull it out, um, or work on the head and you want to take the head off if, if you know a 12 valve all the way along you've got push rods and they're dropped down into the engine they drop about 10 or 12 inches down so you can pull them out but what happens when you get to the back you can't pull them out because this gap here is not high enough to pull the rod completely out as you can see i've got one right here that's stuck can't get it out i've got one head stud that's stuck sorry and i've got two push rods here that are stuck now on these second generation rams so i think 94 to 98 or 99 might even be like 2000 2002 inside the cowl so where your windshield wipers rest there's actually a hole right there plugged with a rubber plug and it's in the right spot so that you can actually push where is it you can you can fish your your um, push rods and your stud that's too long to, to creep through through that hole uh, there's actually another one back there right behind that bar to get the very back one out now I've loosened this engine guys and pulled it forward a little bit already so those don't line up just exactly but I'm gonna fish those out of there now and we're going to pull this engine out. Maybe I'll turn the camera back on and get a video of it when it's on the stand getting cleaned up. And then we're going to ship it out to Calgary, uh, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It's going to be um, bottom end rebuilt by Cutter Up at, or Cutter Up Rob at Cutter Up Auto in Calgary, the diesel guy on YouTube. I'll put a link to his videos at the end of this video. All right, hit the subscribe button. I'll try to make some more videos about this truck coming together. And then, of course, the all important burnout videos when it's all done. Thanks for watching.